Hey, welcome back to another video, guys. We're here at uh, round one of the Manufacturers Cup. You're looking at the end of my best qualifying lap. This is a Circuit de Barcelona Catalonia. So we were able to come in at a 1 minute 15.858 seconds, which turned out to be good enough for a uh, pole position. We were able to keep that uh, to start the race. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. Now, starting the first lap, I do want to show you that, that, that you know, the very beginning of the race here it was a, a little bit crucial. You know, I've never done nothing like this as far as the tournament goes. And I'm kind of a rookie when it comes down to racing anyway. It might be in the B class, but I just practice a lot, honestly. Um, I was a little nervous. Um, you can kind of see as I'm making a couple of these turns um, for this opening lap here. You see I wasn't, wasn't as close to the inside as I could have been on that previous turn there. And it's a tricky track anyway. You know, you really do want to pay attention there. You got to lift up a little bit. Some people tap the brakes. You know, here I want to break at about you know, one, like one ten, <laughs> I guess. You see, but I was still a little late. Almost gave a chance for the Ferrari to catch up. I'm pretty sure it's a Ferrari behind me from uh, Mark Rick. Um, gave him a chance to catch up, but I was able to block him um, to where he couldn't. You know, he couldn't uh, uh, overcome and, and take P1 from me. You know, coming into uh, the chicane here trying to take a you know a nice uh you, you want to basically sacrifice that first left so you get a nice launch on that on that right leading into you know the the, the straight here um to start lap two it was a little tough um the ferrari got a better line but i was able to once again prevail now here you see the ferrari coming up on me he's in the slipstream i see him go wide i go to go wide as well but he goes wide first so i don't go wide soon enough and he's able to take the inside i don't want to you know you can't really block him you can't just get in front of him so you know he beat me to the spot i let him have it you know and then because of that he ends up taking uh p1 you know so let's see what we can do to you know to, to, to minimize the bleed and make sure that uh you know we come out here on top you know we got a little close there uh, almost a little contact but Nothing was made there, so I'm um, coming up uh, to the hairpin here. I'm able to take a nicer turn, I'm able to settle in a little bit more, you know, and, and, and close the gap a little bit. He goes a little bit wide. I'm able to get the inside here. Am I able to take it? Down a second gear up to the chicane, side by side. He's got the inside, then I get the inside. He gets the better line, a little bit of contact, and then he ends up in front. P3 right behind me. Now, at this time in the race, all I'm thinking is, all right, well, why am I battling this guy? It's the second lap. We got 15 to go. Let's work together, pull away from even P3, because he's right on my tail now. You know, but let's work together and, and, and pull away. And this way, when we do go in the pit, you know, we're... We're still where we're at basically at the front of the front of the pack there uh, p3 goes a little bit wide um, gives me a tiny bit of breathing room not much but you know a little, little something something um, you know I'm still here in p2 there's that tricky turn here you know now I'm a little, a little nervous still you know but I'm able to kind of settle in a little bit here and settling in trying to get that breaking uh, you know the break point to the T that one wasn't too bad at all I was able to close the gap just a little bit up to P1 and the Ferrari Thought I was on the gas a little bit too early there at first. I remember that Here we go trying to take a good line into the chicane the lead to the back straight Are we closing the gap? Yes, we are Almost down to half a second there. P3, almost one second behind me. In the slipstream, barely, just barely. Not going to be close enough to go for a move now. We got one guy uh, uh, hopping into the pits there. Ferrari goes a little bit wide. I don't take the best turn, but I'm able to close the gap just a little bit. Got it under half a second now for the gap. Over one second from B to P3. Not my best turn, but I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to relax and get it done. You know, we're pulling away a tiny bit there. If you look up on the map in the corner, you can see us three at the front. We got a little bit of a gap between, you know, us and, uh, and P4. 
got a 420-24-7. We're able to take P1 back off his hands there. Now here, I'm like, I go a little bit wide. I'm like, I gotta, I gotta save the race and, and, and keep the gap. And then I just mess it up, man. Always just take it easy. You know, take it easy. I'm able to, you know, basically save it to where I'm not so far off the track. But I give P1 back to the Ferrari, and then P2, you know, was taken by the McLaren. You know, I'm able to save it to where, well, I don't even want to say save it because I guess P, P4 is not right behind me. But man, I guess it could have been a lot worse. So P3 still pole position. What can we do with it? No battling. Let's go ahead and uh, work together and move on up. Now here you see the Ferrari. He stops short. The McLaren bumps into him. I bump into him, into the McLaren. He goes off the track and then I get um, a three second penalty added on top of the half a second penalty that I already had for track limits. So for the moment, I was a little upset about that, but it is what it is. The penalty didn't do too bad. I was still able to, um, you know, I, I had a big gap, basically. I give up a, a P2 here to another Ferrari. You got P4 who tries to come and do the overtake, but I'm able to defend the inside corner and keep, uh, you know, a, a podium position in P3. Ferrari goes out a little bit wide. I'm able to keep it tight, nice and tight. There's a crucial turn. You want to lift up a little bit. I tap the brakes and try to get a nice launch. And we go right off the track. So it's like I'm, I'm racing good. I'm in third place. Starting a P1, though. Could be better. But I'm not upset at it. I just know I could do better. I get a good launch here coming out of the chicane. for the uh, Coming out to the straight to start lap 8. We're going to pull up side by side with the Ferrari here. I get that inside corner, or the inside going into the corner. Six and a half seconds off the lead. Hit the brakes right at the breaking point. I get that inside turn, or inside corner, and we're able to, to, to recapture P2. P1 pulling away six and a half seconds ahead. Cutting forward to P10 here. I just wanted to show you first place went to the pit. I decided to go into pit. Now, what made me go into the pit? I saw the pit. It made me go. It wasn't really a strategy. My strategy was not to change tire. But coming out of the pit drops me down in eighth position. And now we're kind of in the middle of the pack there. So I definitely should have had a strategy, you know. But here you see uh, uh, two racers going to the pit. Puts me back up into P6. It's pretty much where we're going to finish the race there. You had Dirty Dan who finished in front, but he never pitted. So he's going to get himself a minute penalty. Uh, this puts me back up in fifth place. Mark Rick, who started in second, actually finished in P1. So good for him. If you like that video, like and subscribe, and we'll see you for round two in a couple days. Peace.